The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today as you prepare for this coming Sunday, the third Sunday in Lent, March the 7th. Today we will meditate upon the epistle reading, which comes from 1 Corinthians, the first chapter, verses 18 through 31. Remembering that the theme that ties the readings together for this, the third Sunday in Lent, is the crucified and risen body of Jesus is the true temple of the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear the word of the Lord for this coming Sunday, March the 7th, the third Sunday in Lent. This is the epistle lesson from 1 Corinthians, the first chapter, beginning at verse 18 through verse 31. For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debtor of this age, debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom. It pleased God through the folly of what we preach to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs, and Greeks seek wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and folly to Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God, the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For consider your calling, brothers. Not many of you were wise according to worldly standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world even things that are not, to bring to nothing things that are, so that no human being might boast in the presence of God. And because of him, you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, righteousness and sanctification and redemption, so that, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The devotion and prayer from the Lutheran Study Bible, which is based upon this text, especially the uh, beginning verses. We should avoid pride and boasting about anything. Anything we do for God or for others. We bring nothing but sin into our relationship with God, but receive all good things from Him. Let us pray. O oh, Heavenly Father, give your people grace to recognize all, recognize that all praise belongs to you and to you alone. In Jesus' holy name, amen. We pray together now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Oh,